You're listening to Season 7 of the award-winning Home Ed Matters podcast. Brought to you from the West Midlands in the UK. We're just a regular family of five on a home education journey and we want to share our journey with you and encourage you on yours. So thanks for joining us and here's this week's episode. Morning everybody. Morning. Well, it might not be morning when you're listening. Yeah, it could be evening or afternoon or you might be having a lunch or drinking a cup of tea. But welcome to... Home and Matters. Season 7. Episode 9. Episode 9. My name's Luke. And my name's Eden. And thanks for being with us. Yeah. We were just planning what we were going to say. Yeah. Because we do do that and we've got a really yeah. long list, list of things to yeah, talk about. Yeah, it's all a bit higgledy piggledy. Well, that's the good thing, so yeah. <laughs> um, just to show how professional we are. Yeah. So, hope you've had a good a couple of weeks since our last episode. Yeah. Um, we have, uh, but there's been, it's been up and down. Yeah, there's been it? lots of bumps and things. What's been the saddest thing that's happened since our last episode? Little Luna dying. Who's Luna? My little hamster, she's so cute. She was so cute, sadly. Yeah. Um, now, how? what type of hamster was she? A Syrian hamster. So she was white and peach. Yeah, she had. She was like a sweet. She had white in the middle and peach on the ends. And she was really soft. Her fur was really soft. Yeah, she was the softest thing in the house, much to Flo's disappointment. Flo is our beloved cat, who's now 13 or something. Yeah. Um, and still going strong. But Luna, she'd... I mean, hamsters only live a couple of years, and it was... Yeah, and she did actually live two years. Yeah. So I got... Well, when I got her, she was two months old, which was in October, um, and she lived till October. So she was born in October and died in October. So. Yeah, and she had a really happy life, didn't she? Yeah, poor little Luna. So it was ever such a shock for you, wasn't it? Yeah. How are you feeling now? I'm sad, but I want to get another hamster. Cause it was last week, my grief had passed. Well, yeah, yeah poor we little talk about thing. the cycle of grief. Um, yeah, it would be good to get another hamster because... I mean, from a practical sense, I'd only just bought a new pack of hamster food from Wilco. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know it's more than that, and Luna was very precious to you. Yeah. Um, but it would be good I to get another one. I cried all night. Now, the sort of, the tragic, dark comedy about it was that earlier that day, what had we talked about? Well, we talked about getting another dog, and Daddy said we had to wait for some of the pets upstairs to die first. I mean, I said it in a slightly less harsh way. But yeah, you said we had to wait to have I, less I pets upstairs. I did feel upstairs. bad, fewer pets upstairs, and then that very night, <laughs> Luna. Luna died. Maybe she heard. So, what have we done? Because we were talking about, should we get an extra dog? Because we love we love all our animals. How many animals yeah. have we got? Um, ten chickens, um, one cat, one guinea pig, one dog. <laughs> yeah. And the mealworm. The mealworm and the mealworm mealworms, farm. which smell disgusting. Well, they're not too bad, but um, yeah, so we've, they're, they've, that's really interesting. So we, yeah. we bought mealworm, we let them go through their entire body cycle. Um, yeah. And then they've, they've grown more mealworm, which we feed live to the chickens. Yep. Um, so that's quite exciting. Um, yeah. Anyway, we remembered, because a few years ago, what did we do? We had a guide dog. Not sure whether you were listening then, but. Yeah. We raised a guide dog puppy a few years ago. Yeah. Uh, what was his name? Uh, Viking. And we had him about, actually slightly longer than normal. We had him yeah. 15 months. He was a great big lab retriever cross, wasn't he? Yeah. And um, mommy had to hold him back while me and Asha went into breakfast because he was like as tall as me. <laughs> yeah. And you were only little at the time. I was tiny. It was a really rewarding experience. Um, well, yeah. And it was one of the reasons we ended up getting our own dog. Yeah, we use but the same commands. We've yeah, so now we've got we since that time we've got we're in a bigger house, um we've got bigger space generally. Um you're all a bit older. Mirabel's not a baby. So we've gone on to the waiting list for either retired guide dogs or a failed guide dog. Ones that don't quite make the grade. Like bear. Uh, I mean like um Viking I can... didn't quite make the grade for various reasons. I keep on saying bear. Um, but we couldn't have him back at the time. So yeah. we'll wait and see. That's quite exciting. Yep. I mean, it might be, how long might it be till they even Six get months. back to us? Yeah. But I suspect there's quite a long waiting list. But, but you know, I feel like they would have boxes for, like, these people are, you know, ready to do this and these people can do this. I mean, and we, would be we, in we, made, boxes, a, we made a good application in the sense that we're part of the community already. We've raised, you know, we've contributed to them. Yeah. Um, through raising a guide dog puppy in the past. so And you did the marathon for them. I did. I did run 
uh, the Birmingham Marathon a few years ago. Yep. Raised a good amount of money for them. Yep. Um, so, yeah. So it's been ups and downs. It has, yeah. Um, but pets wise. Pets wise, yeah. But we, you know, we gave all our other pets extra extra cuddles that day, didn't we? Well, it was at night, so it would yeah, have been on Saturday. After. All right. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, it's definitely autumn now, isn't it? Yeah, it's colder. Uh, and in fact, last weekend it was just torrential rain all weekend, more or less. Yeah. But we did manage to get out for a walk. A in the very rain wet walk. With the scooters. And we got very muddy. <laughs> so here is a recording of us out and about in the rain. The tree's aiming. Oh. oh. Well, is it glo- oh, excuse me. Is it glorious sunny weather? Um the exact opposite. <laughs> it is it has been raining all weekend so far. It has been tipping down. So we've come out with the scooters yep. to Mary Stevens Park. Yeah. Just walk around the lake. Mm-hmm. What um, what ducks have we just seen? Uh, some little more hens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And what and was I the debate we were having? Because what 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 are you not supposed to feed them? Bread. You're supposed to feed them frozen peas. Okay. Why is that? Um, I don't know. I think it's because frozen peas, you know, they can swallow them more easily. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. And I've had my first bought coffee for months. Yeah. Flat white from the coffee shop. Yep. And Ash is uh, oh, look at these geese singing in the de- background. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Squirrel geese. Oh, right, yeah, look at those big geese. Yeah, They're think, funny ones, um, aren't they? Grandma looked up what they were, but um, I forgot. Oh, here we are. Look, it says they don't give them duck foods, they don't need feeding, but give them sweet corn or peas, oats, rice or seeds, lettuce, rocket or kale, but not bread because it's got not enough nutrients in it. Yeah, well, and it good, attracts rats. Well, there you are. There's some good advice for the day. Yeah. Should we carry on? My phone's okay. getting wet. Bye. 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 Took a little while to dry off, didn't it? Yeah, you could hear us just singing in the background, I think. And <laughs> you went, actually, you went out on another walk this week to the cemetery. Yeah, we did. Sounds a bit gruesome, but it's just, it's actually a really nice open area yeah. over the road from us. What were you collecting there? We were collecting firewood and stuff because we were going to have a fire, but it was... Torrential rain then too, um, so we tried to start a fire. It did smoke a little bit, but um, yeah. yeah, we went inside and dried off and watched onward. <laughs> so you got you got pine cones and conkers, not to burn, but just to pick. Well, um, yeah, and uh, the bits from the monkey puzzle tree. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, lots of out, lots of outdoor time. As usual. As usual. Um, now we've we've been getting through all the. The, just the first row of yummy potatoes that we dug up. Yeah. I think we talked about that in the last episode. Yeah. But I'm super impressed with the crisps you've been making from them. Yeah, I made some potato crisps. And they've come out really well. Yeah, they do. They take quite a while, but they're good. So it's a, it's a microwave method, isn't it? Yeah. So you have to, like, cut the uh, potatoes thinly. Then you just soak them in water for a bit. Just to get the starch off, yeah. Yeah. And then you dry them. Um, lay them on a plate with some tissue paper and um, put them for three minutes first in the microwave at, on high and then for, for three minutes again on medium in the middle, 50. Um, and then you just do it on the middle, 50, for one minute. Uh, and for and one keep minute turning it over and keep one minute turning it over. Turn them over. Yeah. They do genuinely taste like amazing crisps. Yeah, they do. And it's even more satisfying that they were homegrown. Yeah, it's just really cool. Need to dig up some more this weekend, actually. Yeah, we do. Um, so mum and I have them with our roast later. Yeah. They're so tasty. Um, yum, so you've done yum. that. You've also, you and Belle did some other baking. Yeah, Not we did. Not sweet baking. What did you bake? We baked some bread. And how was that different to the kind of cakes and stuff you normally bake? Um, well, we had to knead it and stuff. And I had to tell Mirabel that she couldn't, um, make me spill some of the food because, like, she usually does, um, because it didn't taste nice, but... She made me spill it anyway, and she said it tasted nice. <laughs> um, but yeah, and um, it's just different because you have to knead it and stuff, and it's not sweet. So, did you leave it some time to rise before yeah. you put it in the oven? Well, when we put it in the oven on a very low setting um, to let it rise in there because we don't really have a warm place in the house. <laughs> um, and what? Um, yeah. What was your verdict on it? I thought it was really yummy, and Belle did too. You're gonna do it again. Probably, yeah. I, I mean, did if you want me buy to buy some more flour, and we've got proper bread flour as well. Did you use the bread flour? Yeah, we used the bread yeah, flour. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that would be really good. I'd like you to. Yep, yeah, be good. I will. And it, it coincided with Bread Week on Bake Off. If you're yeah. Bake Off fans, I want to watch Bake Off, but but you haven't. Yeah, I haven't. 
sadly. <sighs> so, yeah, lots of stuff going on. In fact, I did some batch yeah. baking, well, prep, uh, the other, last week, in the rain again, because it was tipping down last weekend. Yeah. What did I make for the freezer? Some yummy apple crumble. I made, yeah, we got some dishes, some, like, um, you know, pie dishes type things from work. Yeah, they were so and, yummy. Um, uh, I chopped, like, a million apples from the garden, the ones that have yeah. fallen down, therefore good for, good for cooking. Yeah. Um, and I think I put... Did I make maybe three apple crumbles and two rhubarb crumbles? Yeah, one of I think one so. the rhubarb crumble we ate there and then. One rhubarb crumble. And then one for the freezer. Yeah. So that's it been was pretty just good. So yum. Yeah, that's been really good. Yeah, they were bro. Okay, well, time for a, a little break and then we'll be back to talk about more things. You're listening to the Home in Matters podcast. Okay. Okay. Part two. Part two. Maybe we'll talk about just some of our regular learning routine. Yep. Um, so if you are a new listener to the show, uh, yeah. welcome. This welcome, is just about welcome. us sharing insights and highlights of some of the things that we do. Yep. We follow a Charlotte Mason approach, don't we? Yeah, we do. Um, and we use the Ambleside online curriculum as the framework, but we do yeah. tweak things about a bit. Yeah, because we're... It's for Americans. Yeah, so especially with some of the history stuff, we start to substitute. Yeah. Um, so we're doing, doing the Victorians at the moment. Yep, we are. As, a, as an overall theme. Yeah. And that spills over into um, all of our music and art and all of that kind of stuff as well, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, yeah. So um, what's some of the Victorian stuff you've been looking at this week? Um, we've been about doing about child labour. Okay. Yeah. So what's that all about? Um, about how, like, um, the... Like, for a while, like, any children could work in the factories from, like, 1738 or something until nearly before the Victorian times. And how um, then there was this new law about it, but there was only four inspectors to, um, you know, do it, to, like, make sure it stayed in action. Oh, okay. Um, Yeah, to to enforce it. Yeah. So it took a while for that to change, because it was very dangerous, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. For the children. Yeah, really bad. Yeah. So, um, and then one of the things Mummy set out for you the other morning was to set out an inventions timeline. Yep, I did that. Did you have to look up in your inventions book? Uh, not really, no, because um, they had the dates on. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Because you're still reading the um, Great Inventors book, aren't you? Yeah. Um, I wish there were some girl inventors in there. Well, I know, oh, yeah, it's very much a, a product of that time. Um, so we had our artist study at the moment is... Henri Matisse. And you had a new painting to look at this week. Yeah, it was like the Chat de Passer Rue in French. De po- Poisson Rouge. Yeah. Which means? Um, the cat and the goldfish. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not rouge, because rouge is red. So be no, it, I think, no, it is. Yeah. Apparently. Um, and what, what's distinctive about that painting? Um, well, it uses fauvism, which is when the paint um, is different colours. Yeah. Like the cat with bright yellow, green whiskers. So and that was one of the things about Matisse. People were a bit shocked yeah. that he was drawing like the pit. The the characters were recognisable, but the colours were really weird, weren't they? Yeah, which is fauvism. Mm. And our composer study is uh, 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 Robert Schumann. And you listened, you watched a podcast on YouTube. Well, it, we about didn't him this watch week. it. It was like a music thing, but yeah. Uh, um, kids' music podcast. Yeah, it was. Just talking was. about his life. Yeah. And um, how, like, he and Clara Schumann would send little notes to each other in a journal. Yeah, that's quite funny. Yeah. It, it was actually very witty. I yeah, was, it was. I was doing something else in the background. Yeah, I it think like, it was pretty in good. Love. They were in love. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> really that's funny. been quite fun. I mean, we have covered some other periods in history as part of our other thing, part of our kind of geography and stuff. So, yeah. we've been looking at the Mayans. Yeah, we did about the mines. So where were they in the world? Um, they were in New Zealand, I think. No, that's the Maoris. Oh, yeah. Which you also did. Oh, yeah, but the Mayans are in um, South America. Yeah. The Mayans in the Maoris, all the Mayans. Sounds very similar. So Mayan culture was um, earlier than the Victorians, wasn't it? I they were quite so, advanced, yeah. weren't they? They the were Middle adva- Ages. They were advanced in the Middle Ages for the Middle Ages times, but they weren't very advanced for today. No, compared to today. Yeah, um, and then, not yes. like they had phones and stuff. And then in geography... <laughs> been looking at New Zealand and you did some yeah. amazing so you're looking at the Maoris and some of the Pacific Island tribes yeah. and what's distinctive about about them um they paint their faces 
Yeah, they tattoo their faces. Yeah. And what activity... You did a great activity, all of you. Yeah, so Mummy took photos of our faces with our eyes out and our tongues out because um, that's what the Maoris did to scare off people. Or was it the Mayans? Never mind. That was the Maoris, yeah. Yeah, um, and then we jo- doodled on them with Sharpie. To make, like, amazing yeah. tribal tattoos. So yeah. they and do things called... Thick. Um, hackers, Hacker. which were like war cry, battle cries or things like that. Yeah, and they do it in rugby. What's rugby. the most famous one? Yeah, the All Blacks. Yeah. They've got a couple of hackers that they do. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Kumate, oh, yeah. kumate. Yeah, did you watch it? Uh, yeah, it was like Maui. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, well. so, yeah, well, that, exactly. So his character from Moana, he is one of, you know, these are all Pacific, examples of Pacific Island tribes, weren't they? Yeah, so. and Moana is on an island. So, um... Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, yep. We've started a new book. So we work through the free reads. Um, you, yeah. you work through free reads generally. And then we yeah. also, some of the ones with really small writing, we do together in the yeah. evenings. Some of the ones which are really small writing and look quite boring, we do in the evenings. So we've... Yeah. Um, because Daddy uh, makes them interesting. And make them sound less boring. Yeah. So we've started a book about... John Wesley. Um, and what's interesting about John Wesley? Um, how he like preached over four thousand sermons. Forty thousand sermons. Forty thousand, not four. So 000. this was in the seventeen hundreds. So this is the eighteenth century. Yeah. Um, slightly before Victorian times. However, what um, kind of denomination of Christianity developed from him and his brother Charles? Charles Wesley. They were Methodists. Yeah, which was... And was that a nice term to start with? Uh, no, it wasn't. It was, uh, like, a jokey term. Yeah, it was a bit of a mean term, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, but they talk a lot about, you know, that being... The, the assurance... The assurance of knowing... Of knowing that... Um, Christ is there. Uh, yeah, of, of knowing Jesus. Yeah. And, actually, that was one of the hymns... Hymns of the month that you did... Yep. ...last month, which yeah. was... Oh, great. No, oh. I'm sorry, I've got, um, like, the little one. Bethlehem hem in that one, because you were talking about Bethlehem earlier. Um, yeah, not Heart <laughs> the Herald Angels Sing. Um, <laughs> blessed Assurance. Yeah, Blessed Assurance, come to... Jesus is mine. Jesus is mine. Glad it's sunk in. Um, <laughs> so, anyway, that's really interesting. Slightly different from the, um, the other stories that we've been reading, because we just finished a book about the Battle of Trafalgar. Yep, that one was Cast really us away. Good. There Cast is another book, away. apparently, about the henchman family. Oh, really? We should read it. Yeah, we should look it up. We really enjoyed that. Cast us away, if you want to look it up. Yep. Um, but yes, reading this biography of John Wesley. Um, and actually, that ties in. So part of one of the Hambles, Hambleside? <laughs> one of the Ambleside elements is a hymn of the month. Yeah. Um, faith is a really important part of our um, of our family. And, and, and we include it in our curriculum. Yeah. So last week's, last month's hymn of the month was Blessed Assurance. So if you go to Ambleside Blessed Online... Assurance. Um, they have their hymn of the month, um, and we do that as well. So when yeah. when do we do when do we play the hymn? Um, in the mornings or in at snack time. And this month, uh, the hymn is "Break Thou the Bread of Life," but we've actually substituted. That's not one we know so well. Yeah. We so don't. we're doing. I was just going to say I don't know what the bread of life. Thine is. be the glory. Yeah. Thine be the glory. God but if you God listened God. last episode, you'll know. Um, you know, one of the things I do is I'm a singer and yep. a guitarist, and I set up a YouTube channel to start putting out some some music. And I've got a hymns playlist, yep, um, and other kind of worships, more modern worship and praise songs. So I would love you to check that out. Um, yeah, a link it's really to my good. YouTube channel. You could just search for Luke Strickland. Um, but especially, oh, it would be really great if you were. If you wanted to include hymns in your, or you already include hymns in your routines, then I would really like to do them for you. So yeah. I'm starting to record all the Ambleside hymns of the month as they come up. Yeah. And I've got a load of good hymns on there already. And in the lead up to Christmas, I'm also going to re- record a load of carols. Yeah, sadly not. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Probably won't do that straight away. I still <laughs> want to record the more classic carols first, yeah. but let's not rule it out. But would like to know what's your what your favourite hymns yeah, let and us your know. favourite carols. Please yeah. let us know. And um, yeah, please, you know, be grateful for you to share the word if you know people. Maybe you're not a hymn user, but you know people that are. Please would you share the word because yeah. um, I'd really want to bless the, the home ed community that we're part of. Yeah. And I've only got 59 subscribers so far which but actually I not bad I think 59 is loads daddy it's a good start it's a good start so um also you've been working on your creative writing is really coming on so you yeah. started a story that we talked about last 
episode. Yep. How many words are you up to? Uh, nearly six thousand. Wow. I'm a, I'm on nine thousand. Uh, nine hundred. And um, how far through do you think you are? Um, I don't really know because I thought it would only be three chapters, but I'm nearly finished the second chapter and they're not very close to solving the case. So oh, yeah. yeah. So I think it's going to have to be five chapters. And we we gave you a bit of a test this week. Yeah. In the mornings bit. we set you we mummy printed off some of the eleven plus type questions. Yeah. How did you find them? I thought they were quite good. I had to ask you what a verb though was because we haven't done that in Grammarland yet. No, but actually you completely smashed them. Bearing in mind you haven't done any coaching or training towards yeah. that. So that encouraged us yeah. um, that you, everything is fine. Yeah. And actually some of your clubs have been starting in person again, haven't they? Yeah, I mean like just a few of them, like ones which I wouldn't really go to before. But so yeah, drama is still going yeah. on? Drama is still going on. It's really good. And um, you've now got a Friday... In person Friday group at church yeah. as well. Yep, there's only five year sixes at our church. Socially distanced and um, the ty- they're offsetting the timings of the different year groups, aren't they? Yeah. So that not everyone's arriving at time. And you've got a new group starting, starting as well next week, next week called Love Alive, Pretty which good. is on a Thursday. Awesome. Yep. So, yeah, things are happening. I mean, who yeah. knows? There might be some more restrictions, lockdown, but um, yeah. it's good to do that. Um, and we've started an- another new thing. Um, on Saturday mornings. Yeah, we have called Saturday Club. Very ima- yeah. Very imaginative title, but what does yeah. that involve? <laughs> um, it involves mommy taking us all out to a different cafe on Saturdays. Taking one of you at a time, so it's just some extra mommy time. Yeah, so it's really nice. You you had your turn last week. Yeah, we went to Upsy Daisies at Mary Hill, and it was so good. I I would definitely recommend going to Upsy Daisies. What did you have? I had a really big choc uh, strawberry milkshake. Amazing. It was yummy. And Asha went out, they went out this morning. To Sainsbury's. Not week. really sure what they had. But I yeah. think he had a nice big hot chocolate. Yeah. So, yeah, there you are. There's a snapshot of the, what's life. been going on the last couple of weeks. Yep. Um, what's on the list for this weekend? Um, writing. You need some more writing. <laughs> yeah. We should dig up some more potatoes. Yeah, it's going to be I've got really some good. more songs to record. I want to do some baking. Yeah, do some baking. Sounds yeah. good. Let, let us know what your plans are. Yep. Thanks again for listening in. Yeah, um, let do us get know. in touch. A few of you have got in touch. So um, yeah, thank you. Yeah, we appreciate all the emails that you've been sending this week. They've yes, been really thank encouraging. You to everyone. Um, we're really glad that we are connecting with you. Yeah. Um, and all the details for getting in touch are coming up. Uh, so we will see you next time. Yes. See you later. Bye. Bye. You've been listening to the Home Ed Matters podcast. We love hearing from you. So email us to homeedmatters at gmail.com. Follow us on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter and Facebook at Home Ed Matters and visit our website at www.homeedmatters.co.uk. If you're enjoying the show, please leave us a review wherever you listen, like Apple Podcasts, Stitcher or Spotify. Thanks for joining us and enjoy your Home Ed journey this week. They say absence makes the heart grow fond Well, I've grown quite fond of you Some people may think you're strange But I think I'm strange too It's raining outside And it's raining inside too I want to go home, place where I'm known, and where I know you walk familiar streets.